You're bound to feel your feelings change. Your body's changing too. It's true. It's a new you. That's who. Hi there. My name is Teresa Woodruff. I'm a scientist and this is my laboratory. Today I've been looking under the microscope to learn more about how cells in our bodies work together to create a healthy you. In fact, I like to study the cells that make up our reproductive system. The reproductive system is made up of parts of the body that are different between boys and girls. It also includes tiny molecules called hormones, which are so small you can't even see them with this microscope. To help you understand this important system, I created a new series of cartoons that are great for you, your mom and dad, and your teachers. I think you'll all enjoy meeting our cast of characters, and you may even find yourself humming along to some of the catchy tunes. I hope that you find the science inside you and the new you that's who just as fascinating as I do. There's a certain something that begins to happen one day just before your teens Ticking like a clock, there's a blueprint in your genes The parts you've always known begin to change in shape and size A body transformation happens right before your eyes No longer will you be the boy or girl you used to be Cause you're going through the process we call sexual Maturity Excuse me That's puberty So let's start with the chemistry The hypothalamus in the lower middle brain Makes a certain hormone, GnRH That tells the pituitary Located right below it and the size of a pea It's time to make the chemical messengers To bring about puberty it makes LH and FSH two tropic hormones that travel to the gonads. In the girls, that's the ovaries. In the boys, they're called testes. And they both become bigger and mature during puberty. Well, the ovaries containing all the eggs begin producing the hormone estrogen. That's the powerful sex hormone in girls that makes the changes begin. Meanwhile in boys the testes begin producing sperm And the sex hormone testosterone Now things are really gonna take a turn So take a moment and learn About puberty A girl to a woman and a boy to a man That's puberty The result of interaction of a number of glands out with the old and in with the new Puberty's building a whole new you And the ultimate result is dramatic change In the urogenital system What's that mean? Well, if it sounds complicated, I'll make it simplistic Yes, go on You'll form your secondary sexual characteristics Oh, I see Actually, what's that? It's what happens in puberty what can you expect to see? Well, you're gonna grow faster than you have At any other time than infancy Girls shoot up before boys But the boys catch up and grow bigger Typically With these new hormones flooding through your veins You're gonna start to notice remarkable change New hair will sprout in brand new places Whoa! And pimples will appear in your little kid faces Eek. Well boys, your penis and scrotum will begin to enlarge And your testicles are gonna hang lower Cause they need to be a little bit cooler if they're gonna make sperm And girls, you're gonna see quite similarly An increase in the size of the vulva And your breasts are gonna grow right before your eyes You'll gain a little tissue around your middle and thighs and your hips are gonna widen to a baby bearing size During puberty 
girl to a woman and a boy to a man, that's puberty. And you can thank your endocrine glands, out with the old and in with the new, puberty's building a whole new you. And you both will notice new body smells, in particular armpit P.U. Me? Yes, you. Perhaps the most surprising thing to come is the different way you find you feel about everyone. You'll see someone who just last week you accused of having cooties. But suddenly you come to see that they're oh so dreamy and oh what a cutie. That's ridiculous. No, that's puberty. A girl to a woman and a boy to a man, that's puberty. A vital part of nature's plan. Out goes the old and in comes the new. Bound to blossom into a whole new. Don't think you're the only one it's ever gonna happen to Cause every adult that you ever met Absolutely, positively, most assuredly went through puberty too Like who? Well, your mom and dad, for instance You uh, Your first grade teacher too Serious? Whoa. Even grandma and grandpa They had it back then? Yep, since before the chicken and the egg Wow, that's old Everybody went through puberty. Everybody, Everybody goes through puberty. We all gotta go through puberty. Hey, huh? Now it's your turn for puberty. I see. You might have noticed certain things by now About the way a boy and girl are kind of similar But surely not the same Especially at puberty As things start looking differently And girls start getting curvy And boys start getting bulky And pretty soon it's clear that there's two branches of the tree Of human physiology Well, the difference is plain to see The difference of anatomy Our reproductive parts reveal the categories D and she We share many hormones But our bodies use them differently It's a function of our sexes It's the boy and girl anatomy Now boys and girls have gonads, that's the place you find the gametes In the boys they're called the testes, in the girls they're ovaries Testes in the scrotum hang outside as you can see While the ovaries are hidden in the pelvic cavity Now the little sac-like follicles inside the ovary Are the functional unit and each one contains an egg A sperm form in the testicles of anatomy Our reproductive parts reveal the categories he and she We share many hormones but our bodies use them differently It's a function of our sexes It's the boy and girl anatomy The sperm cell is the smallest cell in all the human body and the egg cell is the biggest by 100 Times, but how they come to form and where they finally go is something that you really ought to know. See, girls are born with all the eggs they're ever going to have, somewhere around a million, and they lose them by the day. By puberty, it's less than half, about 400,000. Each cycle makes one viable, but a thousand go away. In a lifetime, just about 400 make the journey from the ovary into the fallopian tube. And the 
fell down into the uterus It fertilized it starts to grow Otherwise it simply carried off with that bun's flow Now totally to the contrary A male makes sperm from puberty A thousand every hoppy And for all their live long days they start as germ and grow to sperm in the seminiferous tubules. Couple of months, they make it out of that maze. Maturing in the epididymis, on they go into the ampulla. They're the seminal vesicles, add fluid to the mix. The prostate adds some more, now we can finally call it semen. With a hundred million sperm in each release of this ejaculate. Well, the difference is plain to see The difference of anatomy Our reproductive parts reveal the categories He and she We share many hormones But our bodies use them differently It's function of our sexes It's the boy and girl anatomy Now more than just the physical, the differences are chemical The hormones in our bodies function somewhat differently FSH in boys will start the test, he's making sperm But in a girl it pushes follicles into maturity Now luminizing hormone is the one we call LH And a spike in girls will make them ovulate but the other gender has another use for this hormone Cause in boys it makes the light it sells Produce testosterone So whether it's the chemicals or some physical feature You can understand that boys and girls are complementary What you've got I haven't gotten What I got you haven't And the things that we both got are manifested differently Because the difference is plain to see The difference of anatomy Our reproductive parts reveal the categories He and she We share many hormones But our bodies use them differently It's a function of our sexes It's the boy and girl anatomy 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 When a girl hits a certain age, a couple of years into puberty A process begins that's a monthly cyclical flow It's all part of maturity, a reproductive necessity A three-phase cycle starting with menstruation Day one of the cycle starts with the menstrual flow That's how you know the follicular phase of the monthly cycle's begun Hormones from the pituitary travel down to the ovaries And five to seven follicles start to mature And they in turn excrete estrogen Which makes the uterus thicken Becoming rich in blood and nutrients A perfect place for a fertilized ovum Something you might see in the next phase Cause every month throughout the year Revolving like the seasons A three-phase cycle starting with menstruation One dominant follicle continues to grow While the others stop growing now the cervical mucus is starting to change Ligaments pull the ovary closer to the end of the fallopian tube And all the while the estrogen's rising 
Until it triggers a spike of LH Resulting in the follicle bursting Releasing the ovum, a viable ovum And this is the ovulatory phase Cause every month throughout the year Revolving like the seasons A three-phase cycle starting with menstruation Now we're into the luteal phase and things really need to move quickly Cause the ovum is only viable barely a day Little cilia ferry it down into the fallopian tube And here's where fertilization can happen If it meets with a viable sperm and they spark But most of the time it just passes along in the dark and on it goes down into the uterus Looking for a place to stay But unfertilized it can't implant There's just no way Then the hormone levels drop around the 25th day Now progesterone from the corpus luteum Built a functional layer on the endometrium But spiral arteries that fed it now retreat away And that layer becomes less stable each passing day Then it separates and soon you know Cause on the 28th day or so the blood and the functional layer and the egg now go Together they make up the menstrual flow Cause every month throughout the year Revolving like the seasons A three-phase cycle starting with menstruation Cause every month throughout the year Revolving like the seasons Three-phase cycle starting with menstruation